What's up, guys? This is a reading for air signs. However, I did Libra separately. I did a live for Libra today because I'm a Libra. I did it separately. Um, so you can check my page for the live that I did today. My hair looks a hot mess, guys, and I am uh, I don't see myself doing it for a couple of days at least. So y'all gonna have to bear with me in this hat. Um, bear with me. It's real puffy because I stuffed a lot of hair right here. <laughs> so I'm going to be on this video with an oval head and a hat. But anyway, I'm grateful that I have hair. Okay, so we're going to start with Aquarius and then we're going to read for Gemini. A little spiel before I begin. Tarot is not a dictator. It can be predictive, yes. Yes, it's guidance. Yes, yes, it's divine guidance. But it's not a dictator. You make the decisions in your life and you have free will. Tarot does not feed upon free will, but you live with the consequences of your actions. And tarot just leads you to the right decision. Leads you to clarity. Leads you to confirmation. Additionally, tarot is a two-way street. Three-way, if you count spirit. We get the message from the spirit room and it comes through the vessel, which is me. And I deliver the message. But you have a spirit as well. You have intuition as well. So if I'm delivering a message, you should connect with it and you should decipher the code as it pertains to, as it applies to you. Now, if it's a general reading, you may be watching this because maybe it's something that you should hear in this reading. But if you want something more personal and specific and tailored to your situation, you should order a reading from your tarot you know, of choice, your tarot card reader or psychic intuitive medium, medium of choice. If that is me, click the link in my description, ashleygiller.com. A-S-H-G-U-I, I'm sorry, A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D. And I'll, I am happy to do a reading for you. Listen, I am tired of doing readings on myself. I keep getting this story. It's kind of like, it, it places a small burden on me today. I started, that's why I decided to stay up all night and do readings. Because my personal readings and the readings that I resonate with are starting to weigh heavy on me. Because something is about to go down. And this change is about to manifest in a lot of believers' lives and, um, Honestly, I just needed another story. I've been reading about the same Twin Flame story and the same Libra story every day. So I'm glad to do a reading for you. This reading was brought to you by GMBodyTMC.com. Additionally, and AshleyGiller.com. Check my product, services, books out. Without further ado, let's begin. I'm going to start with um, Aquarius. So I'll pull some tarot and then I'm going to pull some energy. Let me pull the energy first. I've been pulling the energy cards today, Chakra Wisdom um, Oracle cards. Today it's been given insight into the reading. So I think that's cool. Ciao, y'all. should watch. I don't care if you're not a Scorpio. But when I did the water sign reading... Scorpio is Mrs. Steal Your Girl. Scorpio is trying to steal somebody's girl. It was tea, honey. We have perfection and we have grief. Child, water signs, uh, air signs. You trying to be perfect, Aquarius? Child. Okay. So we have... This is about work. Something ended, Aquarius. So we have the death card, we have the knight of pentacles, and we have the eight of pentacles. So that was an end to a work. Something that you were working on, or it could be an actual job, but something you were working on ended. Let's read into this perfection card. Maybe it, Sometimes it's literal. Uh, and you have grief on the bottom of the deck. So you feel some kind of way. You have to forgive yourself. Forgiveness is right under the earth. Whatever happened in this situation, Spirit is saying forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for trying to be perfect. Maybe you were trying to be perfect. Ooh, yep. Or you wanted to look perfect. It says this card indicates protection and inner conflict between wanting to look good and having compassion for others. Remain kind and unattached to an outcome. Being right and letters, letting others know that you are right may not, may not support the understanding you desire. So you probably just wanted to look good or you probably just wanted to look right or to look perfect. But life is challenging that perception because you 
something ended, like a job or something work related ended. And you're grieving. You you're sad because this situation is where it's maybe you were working on it for a long time or putting your energy into it and it didn't work out. You put a lot of work and energy into it, but it didn't work. It's not gonna last long. Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands. It's not gonna last long. You'll get it back. Notice it's nine eight. It's eight nine eight. Goodness gracious. Eight nine. I'm sorry. You got eight eight nine eight. Forgive yourself. Um, resurrection vibes I get from the number eight. Sometimes eighty eight or eight or eighty eight. It could mean forgiveness. You know because. It relates to, I forgot how and why I can look it up on, you know, Bible history, but the number eight resonates with, like, resurrection of Jesus Christ. So when you see the number eight, sometimes it means you need to forgive someone or yourself. It can mean redemption as well. You're being redeemed. So either you're, you, of course, you need to forgive yourself for whatever situation this is for um, ex this experience, but also you'll be redeemed. You'll get it back quick. Whatever it is you lost, you'll recover quick. Because look at it, it's like 9-8. You're going through hard times, but it won't last. What is that saying? Tough times don't last, but tough people do. Yeah, things will be brought back to balance. In the, in the same way that it was taken away from you so quickly, so abruptly, it's going to be right, it's going to be brought right back to balance. So listen, process your grief. I'm a person, I'm not a person that's not going to, that's going to tell you not to grieve. I'm going to say, allow yourself a couple of days, a day, two, three days max, whatever. Allow yourself to process the emotions that you're going through. Go through the, and forgive yourself. Release tears, release whatever it is you need to release. Forgive yourself and move forward because, listen, tough times don't last, tough people do. You're tough. Most Aquarius I know are tough people. Um... Yeah, but this is not going to last long anyway. This tough times or this, whatever it is you lost, you, you'll get it right back. What is that song? And get it right back. Something, something, get it right back. You're going to get it right back. You're going to get it right back. Remain solid because just as quick as it was taken away, it's going to be given back to you. Ain't no reason for you to worry. <laughs> You see the tower and all the chaos in the background? The King of Cups is unfazed. Spirit is saying, gather your emotions. Be unfazed. You'll get it all back. You might even get more. What Small things to a giant. Whatever it was, small things to a giant. And you're a giant. You will recover. You will bounce back. Nine of swords and the star. Maybe the issue is you're still worried about what other people think. You're so worried about how you look on the outside or how it looks on the outside. Maybe your reputation was uh, put on the line. But again, spirit is saying don't worry. Yeah, you, your reputation may have been put on the line. Whatever happened is at your work where you lost your job or you lost something, Something ended as it pertains to work. Um, whatever is causing you anxiety, it was done. It was like done publicly. But resurrection and redemption is public too. When you see 8 8 8 it's done public. That redemption and that recovery is public. So don't worry about it. And, and you'll bounce back. Remember, you'll bounce back. If people ganging up against you, stand up for yourself. No weapons for you against you prosper. The same people that's probably ganging up against you will probably be kissing your ass later. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Maybe it's public. Maybe they think they won. They're celebrating right now um, that, that you lost, whatever it is that you lost. And maybe other people were in the background celebrating. But what they don't know is you're solid. What they don't know is Whatever it is you lost, you're going to get it right back. Don't even trip, Aquarius. You got this.
You got this. Small things to a motherfucking giant. Yep. Listen. You got power. This is another eight. What? Okay. Let me say your story. Quick, quick spiritual lesson. When Yeshua, I'm sorry to talk about Jesus so much, but it's, you know, it's the Bible. Or, you know, this is what I know. When Yeshua was res was killed, was murdered on the cross, it was his destiny. But it was the underlay for the overplay. It was what had to happen in order for Yeshua to be redeemed and to redeem others. It is what had to happen to take Yeshua to the next level. People thought they were on top and they were on empowered because they throwing rocks at him, doing everything they did, spitting whatever it is that they were doing to Yeshua when he was nailed to the cross and doing all kind of wrong things. He brought them motherfuckers to their knees afterwards, though. When they got a taste of that blood, when they felt that blood, they were brought to their knees and they knew they had done something wrong. But while these motherfuckers are celebrating for whatever it is that you lost at work, while these motherfuckers are celebrating, don't worry about it. Stand up for yourself, but know that you're going to bounce back quick. This ain't nothing to you. Spirit is even telling you to remain solid because this is nothing to you. With the strength card and the nine of cups, stay strong. You will be redeemed quick. You will be redeemed. Stay calm. Your redemption going to take you to the next level anyway. You lost out on nothing. It was the underlay for the overplay. It was setting you up for success. Whatever it is that you lost sets you up. Set, it's setting you up for something so much better than what you lost. Stay strong. Stay solid. Blessings are on the way. Blessings are on the way. People love celebrating somebody's downfall, but we're really getting a downfall. Same people that celebrating your downfall are gonna be kissing your ass. But hey, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. You know what I'm saying? They don't get it. They can't come back. Look at that on the bottom. Ace of Pentacles. Right under that page of Pentacles. New beginnings. Shit gonna happen so fast for you. It's almost going to be like, ain't nothing happening. But the fact that you're better off will show that it is. Listen, that previous opportunity was only holding you back. Whatever it is that, that happened that you lost, it was only, it was, the, it was the opposition. Sometimes the opposition is a job. Holding on to a job that no longer fits who you are as a person. No longer fits in your cycle. No longer fits in your season. No longer, you're, you're, you're beyond it. It's, you know, it's like, it's above me now. Let God take it from here. Because Yeshua couldn't raise, Yeshua was raised because it was a part of destiny. But let God take it from here. Yeah, they had their little fun, but it won't be it won't last long. This change is moving you up to bigger and better. It's releasing you from negativity, releasing you from the hands of the opposition and taking you to bigger and better. Knight of Swords. So we got Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, and Knight of Swords. This fight was all about new beginnings. Um, this fight was taking you to your higher self. This this loss, what you're fighting for is for new beginnings in love, new beginnings in passion, new beginnings in career. That's much better than what you had before. It's evolving you, taking you to your higher self. So embrace this change. Don't even, being sad means you don't have faith that what happened is for your good. Everything that happened is for your good. It's taking you to the next level. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm not even putting no more cards. Page of Pentacles on the bottom of that. It's new beginnings for you. Yep, it's new beginnings. Keep that willpower. Keep that will to begin again. Keep that willpower. A new solid future is right around the corner for you. A solid foundation in career, a solid foundation in partnerships is right around the corner for you. You lost nothing. You gained. With that loss, you gained. They say, some people, some religious people say, his loss, and by his, they think they're talking about Yeshua. His loss was our gain. Jesus didn't lose nothing. 
Jesus gained everything. Yeshua gained everything. You didn't lose nothing. You're gaining everything. Look at it from a different perspective. Don't. It's no need to grieve. Forgive yourself. Forgive. Forgive yourself. Don't. Don't worry about what other people think about you. Just know that what you lost is for your gain. You will be redeemed. And it's gonna happen quickly, and it will be back. You'll be back like you never left. And that's the end of that. That's a shame when people want to pray on somebody, laugh at somebody when they're down, and celebrate like we did it. No, bitch, you're gonna you're gonna witness this redemption, this resurrection. That's what you did. You just set me up for better. You thought you was hurting me, but actually you set me up for better. People are crazy. You set me up for better. Mm -mm. Read for Gemini next. First, Andrea said, play. They thought they had you. Then, boom. Redeemed. Right in front of you. They're going to bring them to their knees. I ain't even talking shit. It's real. You're going to bring their ass to their knees. And you, you don't even got to do nothing. It's just destiny. It's just what's going to happen from this situation. It's justice. You'll get it. All right, so Gemini, what you got going on? Gal or man? Gemini, let's read for you. All right, so first thing I want to pull, Gemini, is an oracle card for you. You got cards falling out already. I should take these. I think I'm going to take it. Okay. And what's crazy is these cards. I'll take you how it came in my hand. It was Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, um, Hierophant in reverse, the World upright, King of Wands upright, and Ace of Swords breakthrough. Some type of breakthrough was coming for it, but I'm going to pull it. Um, Shaka was more first clear for you, Jim. I apologize for my hair, guys. It's just like, what's a girl to do? My hair has just been acting up lately. But no, I washed it and it's real puffy. Uh, I haven't put it. I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna put a relaxer in it anytime soon because I don't wear it down. So yeah. Anyway. What oracle message do you have for Gemini? Quest impartial. Okay, um, Gemini, listen, I have been reading and reading and reading, and it was not recording. The fact that Spirit has already told us, uh, told you in, in, in this reading. That really you are, you have yourself to depend on to look into the heart of the matter of this situation. You really do. Because listen, I read all of this. And I will definitely give a brief synopsis of what I just read. But you, you, you're you going to have to assess the situation. So I believe we left it off at um, insecurity plus impartiality. This is only letting us know that with mysticism, mysticism on the bottom of the deck, you alone, again. What just happened? I don't know why Spirit be giving me messages. My computer is just... Anyway. Dig deep within to get the answers you seek. Insecurity, you may be feeling vulnerable from this situation. Things may not be working out as you expected them to be. Um, it looks like, what, what was there? It looks like this. It, it looks like a partnership or a marriage hasn't been working out the way that it should have been. But Spirit is saying have faith because things will turn around for you. Your problem will be resolved. And it will be resolved by a connection that comes in. It could be this connection, another connection. That's of equal give and take. But what you're going through right now is a part of your journey. You know? Um, we win some, we lose some. And everybody, we can't take... 
we don't take those we started in our journey all the way to the finish line. Everybody don't make it to the finish line. Some people don't have what it takes to make it to the finish line with us. So whatever, everything that you're going through right now is to grow you. Maybe it's to bring you to more of a solid place as it pertains to your self-esteem. Bringing you to a more solid on the rock type energy, you know. Putting you on a solid foundation. Ridding you of your insecurities. Yeah, you feel vulnerable because your marriage isn't working out. You're experiencing hard times in your marriage. But again, things will turn around for you and your problem will be resolved. And what else came out? What came out next? I think the world I clarified. I clarified something. It was the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Uh, the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles brings forth a partnership comes to you. That's of equal give and take. It's love. It's a caring connection. It's a soul honoring connection. And it's you, you're giving and you're receiving. It's not one sided. What you put into this partnership is what you get out. And on the bottom of that clarifying deck, as you can see, it was the Seven of Pentacles. You're building together. You're not building apart anymore. You're not building on one end of the table while somebody else is building on another. You're sitting at the same table as both heads of households and building together. You're not less than. You're equal. You're giving and you're receiving. And you're loving on each other and you're building together. You're building a solid foundation together. We have the magician and we have the chariot next. It's forward movement. Ready to... When you get through this, when you're done with this cycle of growth that you're going through as you release this connection here that's not working, what, whatever happens here that's not working, as you release it, it takes you to the next phase and, and moves you for, towards more forward movement and um, this and an, a new phase, a new cycle. Because you have the world here going full circle. A new, more pleasant cycle again with a better partner. You know, you just have to rid yourself of the emotions, rid yourself of the baggage of this, whatever this is, partnership, and move forward. Now, the video was messing up probably because I was saying um, you can't listen to anyone. But what I meant by that with the mysticism card is you know within you the answers you seek. When something isn't working or something isn't meant to be, intuitively we know. But sometimes we hold on to things that don't serve us out of fear out of insecurity but it's a part of our quest it's a part of our journeys to grow you know it's just time to grow and sometimes we go through things that hurts us in order for us to grow we go through things to help us to release people that no longer serve us and things that no longer serve us in order for us to grow it just happens it's a part of life it's a part of the life cycle with the world. It's a part of the life cycle. And it's taking you full circle. And once you're on the other end, other end, it's resolved. This problem literally gets resolved. And what's resolving it is you have, a, I mean, and after that, it comes forth a connection that's more equal. Equal give and take that you build together and, and love, true love. Then you have the fool and the strength card. So remain, have faith. And I'm sorry you didn't see me pull these cards. I was pulling them. Computer. I was pulling these cards as, you know, when I was reading it before. Sorry you won't see it. But have faith. Remain strong and have faith. You got this. It's going to get better. Literally. You got this. Small thing. I won't even say small thing to a giant. I'll just say this. You got a reason to hurt. But be strong and have faith. What's on the other side? An offer. A strong, solid offer of love that's passionate, that's caring. Coming from you from all different angles. And it could be the same person coming from different angles. Like this person loves you. It's solid. It's stable. It's secure. Financially and in love, and in passion, and it completes you. It completes your family. It turns your situation around, and it completes your family. 
It's like, okay, I went through all of that to get me here. I went through all of that releasing because I was being prepared to be with a person that is really for me. Someone better. So I'm going to leave it there since my computer keeps jacking up. Um, order a private reading if you need one, a personal reading. But thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, commenting. I, I really appreciate you. I wish you love. I wish you lights. And I wish you more life. Peace. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit AshleyGillard.com. That's A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D.com. To book a tarot reading, you can book a business reading for your business or business idea with an action plan where I'll detail exactly spiritual advice on what you need to make it a success. Or you can book a personal reading with any question that you may have. Again, thanks for your support. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.